हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज अशोक दिस वीडियो इज द इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो अबाउट डेटा कम्युनिकेशन इन एल डब्ल्यू सी वेयर वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज डेटा कम्युनिकेशन वाई वी रिक्वायर इट एंड वट ओल्ड वेज वी हैव टू कम्युनिकेट डेटा बिटवीन कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड यू नो डेटा कम्युनिकेशन इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन एल डब्ल्यू सी बिकॉज रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन नॉट बिल्ट ऑन सिंगल कॉम्पोनेंट देर वी यूज टू क्रिएट मल्टीपल स्मॉलर कॉम्पोनेंट्स सो टू इस्टेब्लिश कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन देम एज ए डेवलपर you should know all the available ways in lwc and this topic is very important from interview point of view as well so i am planning to complete this whole data communication topic in 4 to 5 small videos where in this first video we will try to understand all the basics about data communication in lwc then in upcoming videos we will see each way in detail with practical and in last video we will create a small live project as well where we will try to use all the data communication scenarios with a practical use case okay now let's start today's video and see what is data communication so simply data communication means passing data between different components or we can say passing data from one component to another so when we talk about real world application then there on single page we may generally have multiple components for example Here on Salesforce home page, we have four LWC components: component A, B, C, and D. And there could be two types of components that can be added on page or DOM. First is hierarchical or related components, or we can say components which are in parent-child relationship. And another is unrelated components, where components doesn't have direct relationship to each other. They are completely different in DOM hierarchy. For example. here component b and component c are added under component a which means component a is the parent of these both components and at other side this component d is the separate component i mean it doesn't have direct relationship with these other components like with component a b c so here we can say this is the example of related components like ab and ac are in parent child relationship and if we talk about relationship from these components to component d then we don't have direct relationship right so this component d is the example of unrelated component now if we talk about data communication between these components then there can be many scenarios so first let's discuss about these related components like what all scenarios can be there if you want to pass data between these related components so first scenario can be passing data from parent component to child for example here let's say we want to pass data from component a to component b here component a is the parent and component b is the child so this will call parent to child data communication and another scenario can be child to parent data communication where we will pass data from child component to parent for example here let's say we want to pass data from component c to component a then this will call child to parent data communication okay so these are the two major scenarios for data communication between related components but here maybe we have few more scenarios like passing data between sibling components for example here let's say you want to pass data from component b to component c or from component c to component b then this will call sibling data communication and one more scenario here maybe you want to pass data from parent component to grandchild here i don't have that structure created but for example let's say we have one more component under component b that is component x now let's say you want to pass data from component a to component x then that will call parent to grandchild data communication and reverse will be grandchild to parent like you want to pass data from component x to component a then that will call grandchild to parent data communication okay so these are the possible scenarios for data communication between related components here these two are the major one and mostly used scenarios but these remaining are also important because in most of the interviews we used to ask questions from these as well so in upcoming videos we will learn all these five scenarios practically okay now if we talk about data communication scenarios for unrelated components then there we don't have such kind of scenarios there we can simply pass data from one component to another for example here either we have a requirement to pass data from component a to component d and from component d to other components like component c b and a okay 
So in this video, I just wanted to give you some basics about data communication between LWC components. And in upcoming videos, we will cover all these scenarios one by one with practical implementation. And I'm sure if you'll complete this video series with me, then definitely you won't have any challenge in data communication related scenarios or in interviews as well. All right. In next video, we will see how to pass data from parent component to child or grandchild. And if this video helped you to learn something new, then please help me too by like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to share your feedback in comment. That will really give me motivation to create more valuable videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in next video.